What's up, everybody? For the win Itachi, you know what it is. Brought to you by YouTube.com slash For the win Itachi. First off, don't forget to check out the description box down below. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe, favorite, and share your video on social media. Follow me on social media down below. Check out my sponsorships and so much more. We also have a giveaway down there as well. But first of all, let's get back to it. It is a Pokemon Sun and Moon update video. We've got some new Pokemon, and we finally get to see the brand new Bad Squad for the crew. So let's go ahead and start off, as usual, with our cinematic. Pokemon Sun and Moon, three new a Pokemon from the Alola region. We've got, oh, I've seen this Pokemon already. It's wishy-washy, but this is the solo form, and it's got the ability of schooling. Don't school you up, son, but it looks really sad. Probably because it's alone. So when it's not alone, what do we get? We get wishy-washy, and when it reaches a certain level, basically a bunch of wishy-washies come together, and it becomes wishy-washy school form, and it's going to still school you up, son, and it looks a little bit happier. It looks mean and happy at the same damn time. At the same damn time. This is actually a get schooled by, oh, really? They put that in there. They put that in there. I've already come up with the joke, son, but that's a pretty cool Pokemon. I gotta, I gotta admit, it's pretty different. Unique. Puku, what, oh, whatever the, Puku Mop, Puku Muku, Puku Muku, there we go, Inner out. it's a water type Pokemon, wow, I can, I, that's a hard name to freaking pronounce, guys, don't even know, Inner out. what, oh, dude, that is, that ability is gonna be pretty damn cool, alrighty, and we got another new Pokemon, Merlul, and it is a grass and fairy type. It's got the abilities of illuminate and effect spore. This is the mushroom type or the mushroom looking Pokemon for the Alola region. Team Skull Bone to pick with us. And it is Team Skull Grunts. These are the grunts and this is how they look like, male and female. They have the original nasty Zubats on their squad. Uh, Grunt A. Oh my gosh, you're gonna be doing some tag teams over here, son. We've got Pumeria. Team Skull's big sister. This is one of the leaders of Team Skull. Pretty damn cool. And then we got Guzma, the big boss of Team Skull. This guy is looking pimped out. He thinks he's pretty much OG from the OGs. Guzma looks like, I don't even know, man. Looks like the emo boss of all times. And then we got more regional variants discovered. Oh, 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 Meowth getting his Alola form. Oh, really? Really? Alright, oh, it's got the dark, and it's pickup and technician ability, so it's a, I think I'm all that Meowth right there. We got Marowak getting its OG form. This is absolutely the best Pokemon release thus far. Alola form, fire and ghost, cursed body, and lightning rod abilities. It looks amazing, it is amazing, and it feels great. Raichu getting its Alola form as well. It is electric and psychic. I could have gone electric and fairy. But it's got that ability of Surge Surfer. It surfs on its tail, which is very, very cool. Kill turns into a damn surfboard. Alone Raichu's speed double when electric terrain is active. Really, really cool. And it is available on November 18th of 2016. Alrighty, so as usual, I like to go in-depth on what we just witnessed in that past cinematic. And we are going to be starting off with Team Skull themselves. In the Alola region, a group of... Cuffians, known as the Team Skull, causes a, a lot of trouble. They steal other people's Pokemon, mess up the trial sites, and delight in all kind of evil deeds, just like most evil teams in the realm of Pokemon. Team Skull's boss, Guzma. Guzma is the boss of Team Skull, who holds these ruffians together. Guzma pours on the attack, battling without mercy. He certainly does seem strong, but he claims to be one of those who never could become captains. He seems to have a bone to pick with the Professor's Kukui as well. Next up, we've got Team Skull Admin Plumeria. Plumeria is considered the big sister of Team Skull. She's a tough lady who keeps Team Skull in line and working together. In the same way a strict older sister would. She seems to care for the grunts who are below her in the pecking order and she's not one to let it go if someone's given them a walloping. The grunts themselves, both male and female team skull grunts, wear matching black skull tanks, and these uniforms aren't even provided for them. All grunts have to buy their own. 
Next up, we've got the Pokemon themselves that were released within this video. Starting off with the Alolan Pokemon, Alolan Meow, Scratch Cat Pokemon. The typing of this one will be dark. Its height is just over 1. Its weight is 9.3. And it's got the abilities of Pickup and Technician. Meowth is a Pokemon that did not originally live in the Alola region. They were sent to the Royal Line as an offering from another region, and only a select few would have them as partners. The Meowth is a in Alola are distinct for their cunning and their great pride, two things they really hate. A wound to their pride and dirt on their coins. If either one happens, they fly into hysterics. It's said that the Meowth that were offered to the royal family lived a life of luxury and pampering which led them to have a selfish and prideful attitude. This caused Meowth's form to change. The once rare Alolan Meowth became feral when the monarchy was destroyed and they have now become regular Pokemon, seen as commonly in the Alola region as elsewhere. The Alolan Raichu, the mouse Pokemon, electric and psychic type, with the height of 2, with the weight of 46, and the ability of Surge Surfer, as it uses its tail to surf. It does have the effects, it, it looks like it's electric and uh, fairy, but it is electric and psychic. The Raichu and Alola have two types, electric and psychic, and they are able to wield psychic power. What's more, they can gather their psychic power in their tails and ride them, on, ride them to float in the air. Oh, now that even makes sense now. Even Pokemon researchers don't know why Raichu's form changed in the Alola region. The people of Alola seem unconcerned by the question. Their guess maybe it is it ate too many sweet and fluffy round pancakes. Raichu has a, that is stupid. Raichu has electric sacs on its cheeks, and rubbing them causes a sweet aroma to be released. The mechanism behind this is not clear, but it's thought to be connected to the psychic power that the Alola and Raichu possess. The Alolan Raichu has a new ability, Surge Surfer, which no other Pokemon had previously had. With the Surge Surfer ability, the Pokemon's speed will be doubled on electric terrain. Now, I'm not too sure if Earthquake abilities will work on Raichu, because it does levitate, but we will be soon able to find out. The Alolan Marowak, very cool and unique, and it is actually the original Marowak. Not the original original, but it is the Cursed Mother. Marowak. It has its feel from that. Bone Keeper Pokemon. Fire and Ghost with the height of 3, 75 pounds, Cursed Body, and Lightning Rod. The Marowak in the Alola region take bones and light both ends of the fire by rubbing them against their foreheads. Then they can spin the bones around. Marowak's rarity and its fearsome appearance when it dances with its bone led the people of Alola to dub it a conjurer and regard it with fear. There are many grass-type Pokemon, Marowak's natural enemies in the Alola region. This makes Alola a harsh environment for Cubone and Marowak. As a result, they live in close union with their partners. It's said that they make great care for their partners, allowed them to gain something like a sixth sense, and resulted in a change of their form. The Alola and Marowak prove skilled at, a, at an attack in which it waves its bone and releases a ball of flame. The fireballs are not that powerful, but they are tirelessly pursue their foe. Next up, we've got the actual brand new Pokemon of the Alola region. Wishy Washy Solo Form. Small fry Pokemon. It's water type. 0 0.08 on the height. Its weight is 0 0.7 and the ability of scrolling. A single Wishy Washy is tiny and weak, measuring just 8 inches from nose to tail. Wishy Washy is very small, even for a Pokemon. Yet some people in the Alola region seem to view it as a terrifying Pokemon. When it's in danger, Wishy Washy's glistening eyes catch the light and shine out, sending an SOS signal to its allies. Wishy Washy have a new ability, Schooling, which no other Pokemon previously had. With Schooling, Wishy Washy can change form in battle to their school form under certain conditions. So it is not an evolution, but Wishy Washy's school form, small pride Pokemon. It's got the type of water, its height is now 26, with the weight of 173, with the ability of still schooling. The seemingly weak, weak Wishy Washy is called the Demon of the Sea because it's terrifying school form. When Wishy Washy friends receive an SOS signal, they unite in a huge battle formation. Wishy Washy that have encountered many dangerous situations and have a lot of experience calling on their allies 
will be able to emit a bright light from their eyes. They can gather allies and transform into an even more powerful Pokemon. Even Gyarados flee from Wishiwashi's school form. Highly doubt it. Wishiwashi have a new ability, Schooling, which you know the Pokemon previous has had. With Schooling, Wishiwashi can change form in battle to their school form under certain conditions. We got a new Pokemon, Pukumuku. Uh, sea Cucumber Pokemon is water with the height of 1, 2.6 pounds, and the ability of inner doubt. Due to their appearance and their lifestyle, Pukimuki uh, are considered unappealing to tourists. Part-time work chuckled Pukimuki back to the sea is available at tourist beaches. But no matter how far they're thrown, will always return to the same spot. Once they find out a place it likes, it won't budge from it. If someone moves it away, back it comes to the same spot. If it runs out of food to eat in that spot, it'll stay there and starve. The people in Alola found this so pitiful that they developed a tradition of chucking them back into the uh, back into the food-rich sea whenever they become whenever they come across any thin-bellied Pukumuku. Pukumuku are covered in a slippery, vicious fluid that has a moisturizing effect. Pukumuki can stay on land for a week without drying out. The people of Alola use this fluid for skin care product. Pukumuku hate to have their spikes and mouths touched, and if you step on one, it will hurt. It will hurl out its fists like inner organs to strike at you. Pukumuku has a new ability, Inner Doubt, which no other Pokemon have had before. With the Inner Doubt ability, when a Pokemon faints, it will be able to deal one last bit of damage to its opponent, equal to the amount of HP it had left before it receives one final blow. So if you kill this thing in one shot, enjoy. More lore. Category is an illuminated Pokemon. Grass Fairy, 0 0.08, 3.3 pounds, illuminate and effect spore. More lore are nocturnal Pokemon that walk around at night on their legs like roots. They move beca uh, because staying in one spot and sucking out all the nutrients from the soil would cause surrounding plants to wither. More lore use its legs like roots to make contact with its fellows and communicate with them. More little broadcast spores that glow brightly when they burst open. Looking at their pus uh, light, pulsing light has a sporific effect. It seems that in times of danger, the more little broadcast these spores. Now, I just want to say, let me know what was your favorite Pokemon. For me, it had to be the brand new Alolan Marowak. Team Skull looks absolutely amazing as well. I just want to say thank you very much for tuning in. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below for the Winitachi is out.